Hello, I'm Paris Sanjani. Welcome to my channel. In this session, we're going to be learning a new pose called Chakrasana or another name Uttva Dhanurasana and in English we call it wheel pose and if you're new here please watch the videos that are categorizing the playlist on my channel and I'll be very thankful if you subscribe and also if you want you will make me very happy if you follow me on telegram channel Instagram and TikTok as well so in order to do wheel pose we need to have a lot of stretching in the back and also in the shoulders and also in the legs in general because this pose is an advanced pose and need a lot of stretching so before practicing please do the warm-up and prepare your body and then go with the pose and also besides stretching we also need a lot of strength in the arms and also in the wrist so be very careful so that you will not harm your bodies and also there are there will be always easy option if you couldn't practice with the main pose please go with the easy options so that you will be safe let's get started we need to lie on the back first and bend the knees and the next step is hands reverse like this beside the ears and after that in order to start we need to take a deep inhale and lift the hips up and after that with exhale we need to press the hands and as i said we need to use the strength of the arms to press the hands and also press the feet to lift the sh uh, shoulders and head up like this inhale and exhale and then coming up and if you want if you have flexibility in your back you can walk your hands back towards your leg if you want or walk your legs towards your hand both ways is okay and also try to press your head out don't keep your head in lift your uh, head up arms completely straight and head out and feel the stretch in your spine in the shoulders and also in the legs and after that when you want to come back coming back from this pose is really important because sometimes i've seen a lot of people who land with their head which is very harmful for the neck so in order to keep the neck safe you need to lift your head up chin to the chest and after that bend your elbows slowly land with your shoulders never land with your head because it will hurt the neck so always land with your shoulders and after that bend your knees to your chest to relax your back and move side to side an easy option if you're not able to do the wheel pose bridge pose which i taught before is recommended so you just need to lift your hip up and then put your hands on your spine and shift your weight up more and hold for some counts and then slowly come back and hug your knees and then come up and this wheel pose and also the other two poses that i taught in the previous sessions shoulder stand pose and also halasana or, or plow pose are the ones that usually come together not always though but usually come together because um, uh, shoulder stand and halasana are like a forward bend pose because it will stretch the back a lot to the forward side and also wheel pose are like backward bending so these two poses should come together so that you will balance your spine and there are some specific warm-ups for this pose which i'm gonna tell you uh, how to warm up you need to lie on your belly you can start with any of these poses. like i will start with a uh, bow pose which is uh, the one that, that i taught before you just need to bend your knees grab your ankles inhale come up and exhale down inhale up and exhale down just repeat this for some uh, times and then you will definitely feel the stretch in your spine and the next one you can do cobra which is what we always do in the yoga practicing hands beside the chest inhale chest up 
exhale down inhale up exhale down like this and also besides that you can do another pose it's called pigeon pose this one is also the one that i taught before and why we do pigeon pose because it will help to stretch the legs as well as you can see and also it will help to stretch the spine and you can also hold it for some counts and then come back and another warm-up pose will be the standing one this is what we always do in the friday yoga videos you just need to keep your feet apart same as your shoulder gap and then put your hands behind your hip uh, behind uh, on your lower back then take a deep inhale and with exhale press the hip forward and open the chest arch the back as much as you can and then inhale come up interlock the fingers and exhale bend forward this one is very helpful and also if you can just keep your hands like this interlock behind your back and then arch your back for more stretching inhale come up if you cannot with the hands like this just support your back and after that exhale bend forward and do this one also for several times so that you will uh, warming, warm up your bodies completely and it will be safe to do wheel pose afterwards and as i mentioned before the, this pose uh, doesn't only need the back stretching but it also needs the shoulder stretching you can just put your hands on your shoulders inhale and exhale just rotate your arms like this and then reverse or you can put your hands down and only rotate your shoulders backward and forward and another warm-up for the shoulders you can use this yoga strap actually all these warming up for the shoulders is what i've taught before but i'm just going to mention again so you just hold the strap at a comfortable distance inhale lift your arms up exhale down if you can try to rotate your arms backward and forward and also after that just hold the strap at a distance where you don't feel so comfortable but you can still stretch this way inhale if you can completely ro uh, rotate your arms backward and forward but if you're not able to completely rotate it's okay just try to um, press your um, arms back like this it will help to stretch and also for more stretching you can also use the yoga block put the blocks in front of each other and then put your uh, come on your knees and put your elbows down on your blocks like this and hands together inhale and exhale try to press your head down as much as you can and also the more that uh, the higher the block the more stretch you will feel in your shoulders so all these warming up poses are the ones that you can use before practicing the wheel pose to just prepare your body all right so that's it for today's video and as usual i will end this practice with an inspiring quote by Eckhart Tolle that says some changes look negative on the surface but you will soon realize that space is being created in your life for something new to emerge. Thank you very much for your time and for being with me today. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment below. And also thanks a lot for your kind comments, for liking and sharing my videos and for subscribing to my channel. Weekly, I upload videos about the topics that are categorized in the playlist. I'll see you all in my next videos. Bye.